the customer so how what are the things that you will keep in mind if you have to go and meet a customer you have an appointment so now the customer has given you an appointment he is now free based on your request he has told uh, he is given you a convenient time to meet now before going to the customer do you think uh, it will be good if you can just do some kind of a background check so you will not go to the customer without doing a homework so that is the entire concept behind pre call plan so now why do we prepare ourselves like you go for an exam you do a pre pre preparation for it you do some studies for that you know you have to come out successfully in that so you want a better outcome that is why you are preparing for the exam so similarly when you go for a customer meeting any appointment pre fixed if it is like based on an appointment you have some time to prepare for it why are we doing it to make everything more effective so these are the important points that you have to keep in mind whenever you are doing a pre call planning so it can be either a telephonic appointment or even a face to face appointment so suppose you are going to meet the customer in person still go through these details before you meet a customer why because you will not be blank if customer throws in some questions to you now you will also be prepared at least you will have some idea of whatever you have seen even before you call the customer in case the customer has some concerns in the past you will at least be aware of it or is what will happen is the customer doesn't know whether you are prepared or not he will just see you as one person from the back he will not know whether you are the old person new person you are aware of the system no he will just put to you whatever concerns are there and he will expect you to come prepared so first thing is review the customer data from the system go through their past transactions just just by seeing a customer's account statement you can actually find out what type of transaction they are having so suppose you are viewing a customer's statement and you happen to see that every month the customer is transferring certain amount into another bank so what is the implication that you can get what can you arrive uh, from that particular transaction his salary is coming into the account say the salary is 80000 now every month 50000 he is moving into another bank so what do you think you can infer from that what all things can you actually identify from that he is having a banking relationship with another bank now you try to understand what could be that investment option or what is that amount that is going there so you have now identified he has another bank account which might be his primary bank account so you gradually try to understand from him uh, you cannot put it directly to him saying that sir i have seen a transaction in your account you should not put it like that you should you can ask him in a subtle manner sir do you have another bank account where do you do your investments where is your primary bank why don't you use our account for that particular purpose whatever purpose he is telling now if you happen to see a transaction like an emi going from your bank account to another bank suppose every month there is a standing instruction or a deduction happening in a, in his account it can be like uh, the when you see the transaction you can see it is some sort of an emi payment so now you know this customer is having a loan with another bank so you gradually you try to ask him sir what is that particular loan why don't you check for that loan with us similarly now you see that he is making a payment towards another bank's credit card so what is it that you can speak to the customer when you see that kind of a transaction in his account so you know that he is having a credit card with other bank uh, you can actually compare our credit card with that particular bank's credit card so you can tell him sir why don't you take our card since you already have a card it is easier for us to issue a new card also based on the existing card a new card can be given so so many things you can infer from a customer statement you can even see when a customer is transferring funds say like um, sometimes they might be giving their uh, insurance payments 
some uh, health insurance or investment payments if you happen to see such transactions you get an opportunity to talk to them regarding that you can ask him to why don't you switch it to our bank or at least another product opportunity you will get to discuss so that is why it is important before you go in for a customer meeting or before you start a conversation with a customer a quick glance into all these um, aspects like a crm or a account statement will help you to actually prepare a bit so now you know what all things the customers transactions are so you can actually plan your discussions based on that now, suppose you are going to talk to him regarding investment now you know that his account doesn't have enough balance but he is a salaried person or he is a self employed person though he doesn't maintain a balance over here doesn't mean he doesn't have that amount in another bank he will be having it in another bank he will be having maintaining the balance with another bank his family accounts will be somewhere else so so many things you can start inferring from his past transactions so you can actually prepare certain points that can be discussed you can also do a product study suppose you don't know what to speak regarding mutual funds you see that the customer has some mutual funds going from his account on a monthly basis and you don't know what to discuss on mutual fund it's an opportunity for you to learn about it and go and speak correct now you have never touched of course across that particular product and you see that you are going to meet a customer who is actually into a mutual fund investment or a insurance investment and you haven't learned about it take it as an opportunity to learn it okay now product comparison like i said this particular bank's credit card with another bank credit card you can do a comparison speak to him regarding that and you can actually persuade him to uh, take our product then when you go for a call very important thing that you have to keep in mind whenever you go for a customer meeting if it is a face to face meeting or if a customer is walking into your branch to meet him in such situations make sure that you are also prepared with the necessary forms documents brochures whatever is required to make your call into a successful one so most of the time there are people who run around here and there to even to take a small piece of paper to write down details so it is very important that we keep ourselves very systematic so whoever who is working in a bank or any institution for that matter have your own set of documents in a folder so what we call that in bank is a sales folder so be it in the teller counter be it in the customer service role or even if you are a branch manager we all have a folder for ourselves you keep your brochures keep all the important documents whatever form is necessary even blank papers pen all those stationery things keep it ready why because it will give you a very uh, organized and a structured kind of a call when you meet a customer you don't have to ask the customer for the pen you will be having it with you so even the customer will get impressed knowing that you have come prepared all those things matters a lot because if you happen to meet a high net worth customer they actually judge you based on your preparations when they know that you are prepared well it actually gives a positive impact so very important to note certain minor minor things these are but it plays a lot of importance in your career because it shows how systematic you are and how prepared you are might be that call is not successful but at least that person will remember that you came prepared so at that point he might not give you a positive confirmation or anything but he might think of you at a future instance also so that is why it is important that you go prepared